Okay, our next movie is Recess Schools Out. It's a breezy and good-hearted animated caper about a bunch of grade school friends who live for playground breaks and summer vacations. Their leader is T.J. Detweiler, voiced by Andy Lawrence, and he's the only one of the group who isn't going off to baseball camp or space camp or theater camp or some kind of camp. So his solo wanderings take him past the Third Street School where something very strange is going on. No! It really happened! I saw Prickly disappear! Well, if Prickly disappeared, then who's that? Come on, guys, let's get back to camp. Eventually, TJ strikes up an unlikely alliance with Principal Prickly, voiced by Dabney Coleman, as they battle Prickly's old rival, Benedict, who's trying to eliminate summer vacations by altering the world's weather patterns. Hey, how did you get those keys? Swipe them off William's desk when he wasn't looking. Now, come on. We've got a summer vacation to save. Even if you've never seen the Disney television series on which this movie is based, the film does a nice job of introducing the characters and then plunging us into the fast-moving story. Factor in a soundtrack that somehow manages to blend 1960s bubblegum hits, the voice of Robert Goulet, the Colonel Bogey March from Bridge on the River Kwai, the theme from SWAT, and two arias, and Recess schools out as a real delight. I like it. I have a lot of affection for it, but I can't quite give a thumbs up. It didn't quite really? work for me. I kind of compared it to Rugrats and Parrot, which I thought was truly yeah. a charming film with elements in it uh, that adults could like uh -huh. and identify with and be entertained by. I think this movie would be great for kids, up to maybe around 10 or something like that. Yeah. I'm sure they would love it. I would recommend it for them. I'm not sure I would tell an adult to go see it by themselves. Would you? So that, yeah, actually, I think you can... I, okay. I'm an adult who went by himself, and okay. I enjoyed it. Okay. I would say, yeah. Okay. So you liked it, you had affection for it, but you're not recommending it. Yeah, I, it didn't, no, because it seemed to me that it was more limited in terms of the way it really reached into its characters and into the cultural references oh, come on, it as had opposed cartoons. to Rugrats. Oh, come on, it had flashbacks. How many times do you get flashbacks in a cartoon like that that show um, you these middle-aged characters as hippies and they're using the real music, which I liked as well, too. You know, this bubblegum pop stuff. They're using <laughs> the actual recordings, which I thought worked really well. And you've got actors like Dabney Coleman and James Woods who add a lot of layers You make to a this, persuasive so. case, although I think that I've seen flashbacks in a lot of cartoons. I really think I have, but I haven't really counted. Well, not to the 1960s, though. That was my point. All right, okay. coming up later, Liv Ullman directs Faithless from a confessional screenplay by Igmar Bergman. Coming up next, Chris Rock goes to heaven and then comes back down to earth. Your body's gone. But we can put you in another person's body as long as no one knows he's dead yet. 